Lemon salt scrub in a detox bath is the most one of the most efficient ways to detox. You slice the lemon so that you can put salt on it and rub it on your body and it helps to soften the lymph so that it will release those toxins. I use Celtic salt to put on the lemons because it is cooling and brings out the heat that's in all those inflamed, painful areas of the body. You can put extra salt in a little bowl, then adjust the bath water to your favorite temperature. Add your ingredients that you're going to use for your detox bath. I'm using the Epsom salt and baking soda and I have my aeronizer going if you don't have an aeronizer to bubble your bath then you can use two 32 ounce bottles of hydrogen peroxide you take one of your salt lemon slices and rub the upper leg and around all the hip bones and in the groin area and the crotch area because that's the area that's going to be underwater when you're sitting down. So that's where I start because I can't do it when I'm sitting down. You always want to have something to drink to, with minerals in it. I have Himalayan salt with lemon and coconut today. You start by like washing with the salted lemon in between your toes and the bottom of your feet and around all your joints and under your calf. You need a little extra salt for around your knees. Those minerals help the cells detox. Any spot that you is sore you can go back and repeat. You don't have to just go on or you can lay back in the tub and take a break and just breathe and relax for a while before going on. We do the same thing on this leg. Under the calf is very important. More salt for the knee is important. Under the knee and all around the thigh and you can always go back and repeat the knee, the ankle, the foot, whatever needs more attention. Then I like to do my hands and I'm all around my fingers in between all the spaces there up the arm you can use short strokes, long strokes. You always want to get extra salt on there and repeat around the joints, little short strokes. You want to be sure to get the back of the arm in the shoulder area. That's where the lymph likes to get stuck a lot. The shoulder, the back of the shoulder, the underarm, the back of the arm. I like to use the little end piece to do my neck and around my jawline. Be sure to get the back of the neck too. And sometimes I like to get back on the back of the shoulder again. all around the clavicle and then you want to do your breast area and underarm in between the breast and you would repeat on the other side and you do the arm on the other side and the clavicle when your bath is full you turn off the water and you want to get your backbone as much as you can. Sometimes it's more handy if you're not as flexible 
to get somebody to help you. But if you can't do it, it's a good way to stretch your muscles. I like to be sure to get the scapula really well. So I reach over and around to get all the sides of the scapula. We want to try to get all the bony areas of the body. 